What's going on everyone? <clears throat> Thank you for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to do a, a knife review, which I don't do very many of, but this particular knife doesn't have as many reviews as some of the other knives that I that I own. So I got my notes here. I took a bunch of notes just because I'd like to, to give a nice review to this knife because I liked it a lot and it's not as popular as I would have thought it to be. But, um, it's definitely a killer knife. I'll go ahead and start off by saying I give this four and a half out of five stars, okay? And, um, let me find it here on my notes. Why? Here we go. Four out of, four and a half out of five. Um, and the reason I didn't give it a full five is because it is a little bit heavy with it being anodized aluminum handles, um, it's not as light, which which isn't a big deal to me, but a lot of people really care about having light knives. I don't so much um, care. I don't know why I don't. I just really don't. But it is it is definitely heavier than most of my other knives. <clears throat> um, and I'll go ahead and pick it up. Get in close. It's got a very beautiful blade, but that slight little recurve made it kind of hard to um, keep it touched up so it can make it, it can be a little difficult to sharpen um, also let me see if I can show it gets a little dirty I don't know if you can see maybe you can but it gets really dirty right in there which isn't a huge deal but I mean I don't really like to have a dirty knife you know so <clears throat> it takes takes a little while to, to keep it clean um, the things that I, I like the blade shape um, it's hard to sharpen but it's beautiful it looks awesome it's very useful when you're cutting things it kinda that recurve helps it grip into things. Um, it looks awesome. Uh, it comes in red, blue, black, and then all silver. So you can get it in a bunch of different colors. It feels really good. It fits my hand very well. I, I got really big, big hands, and it fits me. It's got a little bit of blade jimping back there. Doesn't doesn't dig in too much but it does it does seem useful um, it's frame lock two position pocket clip up or down right side only nothing on the other side there this one was a blem and if you can see right there there's a tiny little I don't know chip dent nick something but that made it cheaper, so that was fine with me. I didn't pay for it, my uh, my wife did, but that was still always good to get something a little cheaper. Um, I've I've taken it apart and I've wiped down that blade once already, and it's still got dirty. Um, I haven't. I was thinking about taking the spring out and deassisting it, but I saw it's a wonderful knife do that with his cryo, and he said that he didn't really like it. And this is similar. So I figured if the cryo didn't work very well with it, this probably wouldn't either. I have de-assisted a Kershaw Blur, and I like that, but that's a little bit different type of knife. This is a flipper. Um, also, about that, it being a flipper, there's no thumb studs at all. This is strictly a flipper. Some people don't like flippers, and like if you're not used to it being just a flipper, um, I've, a couple times I did go for the thumb stud and then have to hit that it just took a little bit of getting used to it's got the back spacer it came fairly good centered it's a quick little thing well actually it's not very little it's actually a large larger knife um, which I'm also okay with. If you don't like larger knives, I wouldn't suggest them. Uh, let's see. Alright. 
couple of the specs for you. Some people like the specs. The blade length on it is three and a half inches. It's closed at four and three eighths inches, and overall is seven and seven eighths. It weighs four point two ounces. So yeah, that is a little bit heavy. Um, the steel on it is 14C Z8N, which I'm not very familiar with. I'm also not very good at knowing the different steels. So, all right, that's all the notes. I'll put those away. Give me one second. All right, now just just my thoughts on the knife. I like it. I'm gonna keep it in with the knives that I like rotate in and out of like my Kershaw Blur and the Spyderco Manix 2 Ontario Rat just those are those are some of like my favorite knives to like come in and out of rotation and this will definitely go in there as for right now I'm of course carrying my Halloween knife the Ontario Rat 1 orange G10 handle spider web blade I'm carrying that one um, but if you like larger knives and you don't mind the weight, I definitely suggest it. If you're weight conscious in what you carry, then this probably wouldn't be a good choice for you because of, of the weight. Um, also the same if you don't like larger blades. But uh, it was very strong. I only touched it up once and it didn't get dull. It was just I wanted to see how it would uh, be and I touched it up on my Spyderco Sharp Maker just used the um, fine grit stones very um, very slow with it when I did it because I didn't want to mess it up because of the recurve but it, it stayed sharp I wasn't afraid to use it on pretty much anything but of course then, you know, I don't go out in the woods and chop down trees with my pocket knives um, so I can't <laughs> I can't say how that would work I have I swear to god I have seen videos of people with their pocket knives like a pocket knife this size Benchmade knives, Spyderco knives, even some Kershaw knives Buck knives out in the woods man and just wailing on them. I'm, I'm much more of an urban knife user so for me nine times out of ten there's nothing that this knife won't be able to handle on the odd chance that I got thrown into the woods by a hurricane and I had to use it to cut stuff up with. I'm I'm pretty sure it would hold up to that too. But in an urban environment, this is definitely going to be everything you need it to be, uh, plus some. So, in a self-defense situation, <laughs> this thing would mess somebody up. I mean, it's got a very good point on it. Focus. There we go. Yep. And it, it, it came sharp as all get out. Just very sharp. So, mm, there we go. Definitely recommend it to people that like large knives and aren't very weight conscious. Four out of five stars. Thank you for watching my review. Uh, I hope it was helpful and it gave you some insight on this knife as to whether you may or may not want to purchase it. And until next time, man. Later days. Peace.